here's a quick overview of the sensor. So over here we have a 3D printed mount, upon which is a Raspberry Pi and the accompanying Raspberry Pi camera. Uh, we have an Arduino, which is in turn powering a line laser, which we can see over here on the wall. Furthermore, uh, it's all mounted to this 3D printed mount, which is in turn taped and uh, zip tied to a tripod available at your local library. Uh, it's featuring a battery pack, which is in turn taped uh, to the tripod, and that is powering the Raspberry Pi, which is powering the Arduino. Uh, the reason why I designed the sensor this way is it has very high modularity with minimal amount of uh, um, external design time. And so these zip ties are you know, a dime a dozen, so you can have quite a few of these, and if you don't like the orientation, you can kind of remove them and, and figure out what you want to do. Furthermore, it also has a, um, a spot for a phone to be held, so this will provide angular sensing, and so that way I can get the angle, like really the, the attitude of the, um, this whole device, and, uh, and record that and map it to the, the LiDAR data that I'm getting. Uh, this setup is driven by Python and OpenCV, which will allow us to do the image processing uh, uh, pretty dynamically and then have uh, uh, pretty rapid updates. Furthermore, we also have uh, uh, the, the Raspberry Pi is Wi-Fi enabled, and so that's how we're getting the data from the, the sensor itself and being able to process them uh, or being able to share that information through the internet uh, and then map that to a 3D point cloud.